that there's like this one very large pink hat that's like very much giving like glamour toad or toadette. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the vlog where I can finally stop being the most annoying influencer on the planet Being like, oh my god, I have a secret. I can't wait to tell you about it, but I can't tell you about it right now Because you can finally talk about it. Also by the time you're watching this There's a good chance that's not even a secret anymore and you already have seen um, That I got chosen to be on the cover of the not bad Oh my god Oh my god, so we did this shoot two months ago in March. This shoot was actually the day before the engagement party. So there was so much going on. This is also when family was in town. And so I have a whole day of footage of behind the scenes from the shoot and it's finally out. I started getting photos of people seeing it on stands uh, on Sunday and I wasn't allowed to post about it until Wednesday until the launch party and I was dying, just absolutely dying. There was like a handful of people, a good amount of people who got to see the cover before I even did. Here it is, it's not me at the Met Gala, it's not me at the Barbie movie premiere, which totally does make sense because I fully committed to like the pink matching nails as well too because I had the pink dress launch party. This is still one of those like, oh my fucking God moments and I am so excited about it. Just like so genuinely honored to be a part of this issue. They do quarterly issues as well too. So that's like only for a year. So to get chosen for the cover is amazing. There's also a full spread. Oh, also open up to page one of the early pages with a table of contents is this giant photo where I'm giving just like serious editorial vibes. My favorite picture, although the cover is obviously so cool. Um, my favorite photo might be, wait, 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 wait. This one. Look at Moose, absolutely slaying. Moose is serving. He was made to be an editorial pup. So, oh, speaking of the devil, the star himself. Excuse me, totally missed the shot. It was just like a small wagging tail walking into frame. Um, so anyways, grab a copy of the magazine. It's in stores, stands, grocery stores, most of them um, across, I think, almost all of North America and then online if you are international, but there is like a four or five page um, article. Remember the fashion hat moment that I was telling you about? This is the fashion moment here. So there's more photos. I've obviously never done a shoot like this before where it was just totally editorial vibes and like, high fashion and kind of having not like no creative say like for example for the cover shoot um in this outfit there were two shoe choices one that were like sparkly lace up flats they almost kind of looked like tap dance shoes kind of and then obviously the jordans and i was like oh these ones are definitely more my style if i'm choosing between two uh like sneaker flat shoe type of uh, style. This was so much fun to be a part of, definitely outside of my comfort zone, and I just am so excited about it. So anyways, um, secrets out. I'm so excited that I can finally share all the behind the scenes footage because it was such a fun day filming. So I have all of that. And then also the launch party in New York. Hi guys, so today we are doing the cover shoot for The Knot magazine. So we just finished hair and makeup. We're going for like a pretty natural look. Um, we did a fitting this morning. I tried on like 10 dresses. Haven't made final decisions. I don't know exactly which ones we're starting with, but let me show you the set. Also, Moose is coming to be in a few shots. Later today, Jeremy's bringing him and it is going to be so out of control cute. So there's a pink set over here with some balloons. That's cute, that's cute. There's like this one very large pink hat that's like very much giving like glamour toad or toadette. I guess like more like glamour toadette. Um, and then we've got this big white set here. There's also like downtown traffic also happening. Oh wait, oh my God, this looks so good. I'm probably not allowed to show this, but we're going to anyway. 
Oh my god. This dress is out of control cute. Wait, is this gonna be the cover? So there's gonna be a multiple page spread that's gonna be on the inside with I think five looks total, but then obviously there's like the cover shot as well too. And so I've definitely got favorite dresses that we tried on, so fingers crossed it's one of the favorites. I'm hoping that it's like this giant frilly two-piece dress that's like a mini dress and then a huge fluffy train. It is so out of control pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the most insane day, oh my god. is a wrap we it was okay okay traffic downtown LA relax um, we did way more than five looks the makeup is so pretty this like purple liner moment is so oh my god I feel like I feel like a fashion girly the hat moment was truly so hilarious but like the pictures look incredible I wanted to make sure to get vlog footage of like the monitor that was showing the final photo so you could see that I did look crazy just in real life and the photos are gonna be amazing. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Oh my God, these outfits were all incredible. I'm so excited. Also, Moose got to come. I really hope that the Moose photos, at least one of them makes the cut. Um, but by the time this comes out, the magazine will be on stands and you can go see the whole thing. Um, and obviously I'll have a ton of photos to post on socials, I'm sure, outside of just the photos that are in the magazine. Um, but oh my God, what an absolute dream of a day. I feel like the camera is so close and I look bald and I've had makeup on for so many hours now, but the knot, I love you. Thank you so much. This is the greatest honor ever as a bride soon, as a soon to be bride, a bride to be soon. Um, and yeah, what an amazing day. Okay, we are about to head to the event. I feel like New York City window lighting is not treating me the best right now, um, but I just finished getting hair and makeup done. They did such a great job. I mentioned this in the last vlog, but it's always a little scary working with a new hair and makeup artist you've never worked with before, who's never worked with your face and your hair. So, um, a little scary, but everything turned out so great. The hair is great. We just did like a loose wave and then makeup is this and fun earrings. My artist crushed it. Your artist crushed it. Looking so handsome. We did a, so we went to something new today. We did the same thing I've done for the last 10 years. The Jeremy. Uh-huh, by Jeremy. The Jeremy by Jeremy. What's his name? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't, well, because I just feel like like no one looks cute from this angle. Not my favorite. Yeah, no that's one looks That's how you shoot, that's how you angle. want me to shoot all your photos. No, 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 it's I more like. boobs look huge. Thank you so much. Boobs by me. Be boobin. Really? Uh, no, boobin. boobs by Gail. Uh, boobs by hey, Sticky Cutlet. Oh, I hate that. Uh -huh. Boobs by Sticky Cutlet and for Love and Lemons. Oh, okay, we're ready, we're late. I just stuffed a sandwich yeah. down we're not early. my throat. Yeah, no, we're not early. Okay, here we go. Event time. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm like a little nervous that there's gonna be a giant version of the cover at some point and it's gonna be something that is obviously really really cool but for some reason just also feels really embarrassing at the same time. Um, okay and I, I think we have some time before the event starts that so hopefully I can do a venue tour of everything. Um, it's at the mansion at Glass House 
Studios, I think is what it's called. Um, but anyways, we're heading over there right now. Okay, we're starting the tour off in a random little room. So this isn't the like opening or anything, but this is the live sketch artist that's gonna be here tonight doing other sketches. And look at, this is the one that he did of Jeremy and I. My hair has never looked better, truly. And so I get to take that home afterwards, which is so nice. So there's this little spot here. It's this really cool, like old walk up brownstone building. Um, the magazine is everywhere, which is so cute. Here's the little gift bags. It opens up onto this really pretty patio. And the color scheme is so nice. It's all of like these pinks, blues, yellows, and purples. Sunflowers, very cute. Like this is the New York that I really like. It's like this exact corner right here. Okay, another cute room. All of this here, decor. And then this is the photo op, which is so pretty. This color scheme and my dress has worked out really, really well. Very happy about it. This is such a pretty floral arrangement. Got the knots and all this confetti. So lots of cute photos to be had here with the spiral staircase. I don't think we go up this. So we've got a little nail activation with really cute, wait, zooming, 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 decor press-ons that you can do. We've got food being set up, the bar is here, and then there is a floral arrangement corner over here which is so pretty. These are adorable. I love these little floopies. These will definitely not survive the flight home, but I wish they would. So cute. Okay, I feel like I'm just like in the way as they continue to set up. This is the lighting that I was looking for in the hotel. Here's hair and makeup. I've got my lip. After I ate two pickles and a full sandwich, the dress. I've got a little side purse that's kind of the same color as the shoes, as the shoes. I'm sure that looked very natural. So we're starting off the event by doing some opening remarks, which is quite terrifying. A little bit of a public speaking moment. Um, but the venue is really cute and kind of small and sectioned off into like three or four of the different rooms that I just showed you. So I think it's gonna be like more chill and quaint and nothing like too crazy in front of a sea of people, which is quite terrifying. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. It's gonna be totally fine. So it's a combination of like opening remarks. I think there's a panel of some vendors who work with The Knot because The Knot is a market vendor place as well. And then I'm doing some press interviews with different press outlets and a PR thing. And then I just get to hang out with friends. I got to invite a ton of New York friends that I don't get to see that often who are gonna stop by. My friend Danny who lives in Toronto actually flew down to come hang out. So I'm really looking forward to just seeing a ton of New York friends that I feel like I don't get to see that often because I'm never here for very long. This New York trip so far, I know that I always kind of shit on New York, but the weather is excellent a little chilly but I'd always take too cold over too hot and obviously this event is so amazing and I'm still like also there's no giant there's no giant blow-up version of it which I'm really happy about I'm really happy about as much as I guess as that would be for like a fun photo moment I'm quite happy there's not like a giant version of my face I do wish though that they had the giant moose photo that's a photo that could have been blown up and placed everywhere that I'd be totally okay with. Oh my God, we've got whole ass live music. The dresses are so pretty. They're so similar to the vibe of the cover dress, which I'm sure was intentional. Love it. Hi, me again. Um, so we are back home now. We were just in New York for a quick few days. Our full free day, um, my friend Danny from Toronto flew down to meet us and we did some shopping. I made a TikTok of all of the uh, like small boutiques that we went to go visit. So I will put it here so you can see some of the stores that I visited. I didn't end up getting too much. I did get this necklace that has a little L on it from I think it was called New Top um, but I'll have the addresses and the store names in that TikTok. Overall, it was such a great New York trip. I know that I always am kind of dreading going to New York. This was like a great quick trip that was so much fun. It was a little chilly, like definitely was happy to get back to the sun once we landed back in LA. It's also Moose's birthday this weekend. So birthday celebrations are in full swing and I'm back on my creamy obsession. I feel like 
without any context, you're like, what the fuck? And also, like, I saw a few comments saying that they don't love the name of the Ninja Creamy, and I am kind of on board with you. I feel as if maybe there could have been a few other names tossed in the hat that could have worked for this kitchen appliance, but nonetheless, I've got more Ninja Creamy recipes to try. That is essentially what's on the agenda for today on top of doing some unpacking. Okay, we're going for strawberry cheesecake this time. This is the strawberry uh, fair life. Uh, also, this is kind of a game changer that this has no lactose in it. Oh my God. Wait, I want a sip of it. Wow. Wow. Okay, and then this is the cheesecake flavored jello mix. One and almost two. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. Ah! Wow, oh my God, so frothy. Okay, here we go. Oh, am I too high above the line? Ah, shit. I feel like I might be. Okay, I'm gonna pour some out. Some real strawberries. Oh, what? Did this make jello already? Ew, this one's kind of busted. One more? One more. <laughs> what is happening? This is the weirdest consistency. Okay, well, almost ready. Okay, and this one, I wanna do cookie dough, but I have to get little like cookie dough bites to put in afterwards. Uh, sir? I know you couldn't see, Moose, but you could hear the tippy tappies that had entered the top of the counter. So I wanna do, um, I wanna do this one as cookie dough, but I'm gonna do half chocolate milk and half vanilla milk and then the vanilla uh, jello mix. Okay, half. Half. Okay, and then this doesn't have to have anything added until it's frozen. I'm so excited, specifically for the strawberry cheesecake. Um, okay, so I, I do have to say that I went to the grocery store this morning and got some graham cracker crumbs and the seal on top of it was broken. If I die, it is because that I have decided that I cannot go without the graham cracker crumbs in this creamy recipe. Um, and I'm sure it's fine, because like who would really be out here tampering with graham cracker crumbs? Like I'm sure that it just like fell and the seal broke. Like it looks totally fine. Maybe I should just like skim the top portion of it off because like also I don't need this. Like this graham cracker tub is the same size as my head. Like I don't need this many. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll skim the top off and then <laughs> use the rest of it. So for the strawberry cheesecake, I've got graham cracker crumbs to add. And then I got um, edible cookie dough to put in the chocolate vanilla cookie dough mix. I'm so excited. I guess we're just saying goodbye to these being healthy alternatives and this just being at home ice cream. Also, please let me know if you are over the Ninja Creamy phase. Um, because although I am not over it, I don't have to vlog it. So just let me know. Okay, let's do the strawberry one first. I'm so excited. I literally have been thinking about the recipes that I wanna make the entire New York trip. Okay, it's got the little um, frosties on top, so I'm gonna add a little more of the strawberry milk. Also, I skimmed off like the top quarter of the graham crackers and I didn't find like any sharp objects or anything. So I think we're good. What a uncool way to die. You know what I mean? If that was what really took me out. Oh shit, why didn't that work? Do I need more? It's still, ooh, uh, hmm, hmm. It's looking a little weird. A little too like frosty weird on top. Oh, but it tastes so good. Let me try and do one more respin with some more liquid. There was also like a really sketchy moment where it was kind of rattling around on the inside of the machine. Didn't love the sound of it. So if the graham crackers don't take me out, it'll be the creamy itself, which is not the worst way to go. That solved all of our problems. I don't even know if this needs graham cracker crumbs. Oh my God. Are you shitting me? It just like doesn't get less impressive. Oh my God. This one might be the best one I've done yet. Truly? Wow. 
I would say that it's more strawberry than strawberry cheesecake, but it definitely is so good. Like I bet the cheesecake with this is better than what this would have been with just like vanilla pudding mix. This is the fucking craziest kitchen appliance. Okay, no, fuck it. Let's add graham crackers. Okay, it's supposed to make a hole in the middle. Oh, I hope I don't fuck this up. Possible graham crackers of death. That's really good, right? I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> I think if I was gonna do a full send on this, it should have just been like getting those full cheesecake bites. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Absolute fire. Also, I'm up to four creamy containers, so things are about to get out of control. Next up. Cookie dough. This is just a wad of cookie dough going into the middle as a mix-in. I was like, should I cut this up and try and like slice into little pieces? Um, did that just turn back into a wad? So in she goes. <laughs> Maybe that's too much. Is there such thing as too much cookie dough? Let's be honest. I can't believe I'm a Ninja Creamy influencer now. What a career change. Ooh, okay, it looks promising. Here we go. How long until I find, like I can't tell if it would have totally chopped it up and just like put it in. So like normally you think of chocolate chip cookie dough as like having like blobs of cookie dough. Oh. That's the best one that I've made so far. The chocolate chips are definitely still whole, but the actual cookie dough, I feel like, is just totally mixed in. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay, ranking all my recipes from top to bottom. This one, honestly, strawberry, dull whip, and then the chocolate raspberry one. Oh my god. Wow. Fucking magic just wanted to report back and jeremy has said that i have officially won him over with the ninja creamy with that last cookie dough batch um anyways before i end the vlog i want to show you the cake for moose's birthday it's so fucking cute are you kidding me are you kidding me this is adorable adorable so anyways i gotta let it thaw um for a couple hours before we serve um, but I'm so excited. I'll have many photos and I'll probably start the next vlog, um, for Moose's birthday. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this New York vlog. I'm so relieved that I can finally talk about the knot and the magazine and share all the behind the scenes footage and truly just so excited and ecstatic to have had the opportunity and I'm so grateful. And before I get cheesy, I'm going to end the vlog here. Bye guys.